Hey there, folks. It's Mr. Stacker. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some Space Jam cards today. So uh, one of the comments I'd gotten recently on a video I did about rare Michael Jordan cards said, my favorite are the Space Jam ones. And uh, I was like, I just literally picked up a collection of Space Jam cards. So let's go and highlight them because you may have not seen these before. Maybe you have. I don't know. These came out from Upper Deck. Uh, very premier brand in sports. And um, Jordan, in a sense, had a, very, a lot of exclusivity with Upper Deck. That's why you saw a lot of Michael Jordan from Upper Deck in those late 90s. Uh, so let me show you here. This is, I almost got the whole set here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And can you believe it? We're missing number 23. Well, that happens to be the rare run of the set, which I'll end up picking up that one loosely. But I didn't know that when I got that. I was like, okay, so 28, 29, and 30. So I've got all the first 30 except number 23. So I'll get number 23 and we'll do another video for that. So let's show you each of these cards. It's kind of like a big pack pool, huh? <laughs> the whole set here. So we've got Bugs Bunny. We've got Lola. We've got Daffy Duck. We've got Porky Pig. Elmer Fudd. Tasmanian Devil. Ooh, I dropped one. Which one did we drop here? Oh, we dropped Sylvester. And of course, right after Sylvester, we got to have Tweety, right? Then we've got Granny. Wiley Coyote, the Road Runner. Dang it, these keep sticking to each other. Peppa Le Pew. <laughs> that guy's funny. Marvin the Martian. What was his quote in the line? There's a, uh, excuse me, your Aranus. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Yosemite Sam, Speedy Gonzalez, Foghorn Leghorn. I had no idea that was his name. Anybody? Foghorn Leghorn. Interesting. Sniffles. Witch Hazel, Stan Podolak, I remember Stan, Minion, Charles Backley, Muggs Bogues, Birdie and Hubie, The Swackhammer, Bang, <laughs> that's pretty cool, Bang, Bupkis, Blanco, Pound, and Knot. So that is the collection of course, mine is number 23, which we'll bring in soon. And then we have a couple of these from here. There's actually some more as part of that set. Let me get this thing open here. I'll show you a couple of these ones. And we have a couple of holograms. I don't know if I kept them in this one. No. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. So these are the Monstars. These little cards here. So this was Bupkis. Blanco. Not and bang, 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 and pound. And then I don't even know what this card is. This came with the set, but uh, it looks weird. It's like a screenshot of the movie, but it's like all clear on the logo and upper deck. But then, like, they make it weird blur for this for the picture. I don't know it's kind of weird. Nice, but <laughs> so I guess memorable quotes from the movie. So, uh, yeah, that is a Space Jam collection. Did you guys uh, enjoy Space Jam when it came out? Uh, I don't know. I was a kid back then, man. I was born late 80s. So, you know, I was perfect age for the Space Jam when it came out in, what, 95, 96? Yeah, I was, uh, I was less than 10 years old. It was a dream for me, man. That was so awesome. Uh, reliving those childhood memories. That's what it's all about. I mean, that's why we get into the sports cards, right? We get into sports, we get into Pokemon, we get into all these different things. Is You know, these are things that we had when we were a kid and they now become popular again. And it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know if you guys noticed that at all, but um, the interesting in that the things that we get excited as kids, right, when we're that 10 years old range, 20 years later, those things all of a sudden become popular again. Right? Whether it's sports cards, Pokemon cards, Beanie Babies, right? Look at that as kind of an avenue 
of how you can find opportunities. If you're willing to be patient, right, you just might find something pretty interesting that, uh, what are the kids 15 years ago? What were they doing? Think about that. In five years, game changer. Mr. Stacker out.